because we are doing all our best to make sure that the church has become a social phenomenon that the spiritual impact is watered down even if any priest want to hide heighten the spiritual he will be attacked the church should be one of those things one of the social phenomenon or one of the social phenomena that exist everywhere that it is not difficult for us to see danger when it is coming and one who is ordained the priest or then the prophet or then the king cannot see harm coming to his community the much we can now do is to attack one another criticize each priest we can't fight the devil but we have the energy to fight ourselves and the devil is using it as a weapon does it kill of your piano we attribute everything as the will of god even the ones we can do but unfortunately many of us are getting blind spiritual spiritual blindness is one of the worst things the devil can do to the church when we are ignorant of the techniques of the devil it comes as a mad weather and the deceiver. The phenomenon of deceit. The devil can deceive all of us to do what he wants to do. And that's why many of us are busy now wallowing in a lot of zones yearning for protection. After the mass, after the church, our Christians will go out looking for protection elsewhere. Because they no longer have confidence in what we do. The sooner the church in this part of the world questions herself, the better. In Europe, the church is no longer the way we take it here. A lot has been watered down. I pray that it not happen. But you can see the signs everywhere. For young men and women, many of them are leaving the church. There's an exodus. Many are looking for solutions to their problems because they don't believe anymore that the church can afford solution. Let us face the truth. So men and women of God, let us get more rooted in the Lord. If any member of the church, whether a member or a leader, is attacking you as you are praying well, know that the devil can use anybody. That's why he used Judas to attack Jesus. So stand firm. Because the weapons of our warfare are not kind of their spiritual and mighty unto God. So they're pulling down our strongholds. We have weapons. But a soldier who has ammunition in his house and the armed robber has entered his room, he, he doesn't even know there are ammunition in the room. They can't even use the gun. Who will you blame? The Lord has given the church everything. That's why he says in Matthew 16, 18, that he has given us the keys of kingdom of heaven and the kingdom of heaven. And he continues and says, the gate of hell will never prevail against the church. Think back. Because greater is see who is in us than he who is in the world. It will be a dangerous phenomenon watching a brigadier general with all our munitions and small boys with catapults coming to tie him. Because once you are baptized, you are, you are a brigadier general in the Lord. You have died, you have risen with the Lord. They look at how the devil and his agents are toying with us. Those that we should be leading are leading us. I don't want to speak further before I am misunderstood. But there are a few things I will say now that becomes a topic in the social media. And those who spend their time, wasting their times in misunderstanding men of God will capitalize on it, especially when Father Mbaka has spoken. So when I'm talking about men of God, I'm also one of them. So let us sit up. Many of us are blind. Many of us have become cowards. 
food and drink and money cannot save us. We need them. The salvation belongs to the Lord. Let us get more attached to the Lord and open ourselves for spiritual revelation. Is he ready to reveal as in the days of the Acts of Apostles? But are we ready to receive the revelation? Even a village, every mother will an epe, on we my alway, on we my alway, Ugro Banaga. So no one is here, Ugro Banaga. Now, for Chalacha, Nebe, Puruya, Ugubo, Puruya, Ubia, the Ayana, and I agree. Why in our female? This is the time. The charismatics wake up. Let people stop pouring water upon the fire. Ready to face the persecution. Don't allow the fire to be doused. Get ready to face the persecution. If they pursue you from here, run to another place. Danger is looming. The devil has come to use those that should help the fire to be ablaze. The same people are the people quenching the fire. They will take time and preach against fasting. Preach to you the danger of fasting. Preach to you the danger of having a nice vigil. Tell you to go and sleep. How many times will you sleep? And it will be enough. Remember, the devil doesn't sleep. First Peter 5 9 said, Be calm and vigilant. For the devil, your enemy, is prowling around you like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. Do not give it any opportunity. One second opportunity, the devil can destroy what in the next 300 years the church cannot rebuild. The victory we have over the world is our faith. But now faith is in danger. Right now, when a priest leaves the blessed sacrament of a miracles begin to happen, you'll be questioned. You want to tell me there's no power in the blessed sacrament? What kind of doctrine are, are you people propagating? This is the summit of our faith. Anyway, you can't try such rubbish around me. Because I won't even listen to you. I will see you as an infidel, an unbeliever. If you try it around me, I will handle the devil in you that is using you to say such. All we studied in philosophy and all we studied in theology, the summary is that Jesus is Lord. He died and He, he rose. After he rose, he went about being good. Afterwards, he ascended into heaven. After he ascended, he sent down the Holy Spirit with the gifts of healing, miracles. This is the Jesus who said in Mark 16, 17, These signs shall follow those who believe in me. They shall cast out demons. So when you see people casting out demons, you don't say they are not doing like Catholics. We should be ashamed of ourselves when we cannot cast out demons. You can't explain it away. They shall speak in tongues. Signs that sh shall show you are a believer. So if you cannot speak in tongues, you should do everything spiritually meaningful to speak in tongues. So if you cannot speak in tongues, it means you are not a believer. No matter who you are, whether you are a church member, a, a Christian mother, a Christian father, a knight, or a priest, or a bishop, you should be a tongue speaker. Let somebody not spread his ignorance. You know, ignorance of the Bible is ignorance of God. So when you are saying, oh, you tell me where it is, then I tell you where my... Because I speak in the authority of the scripture and the orthodox teachings of the church.
Because I've come to notice that people who are tired of praying are spreading their prayerlessness in the name of doctrine. Oh, don't cast away. Who can go in which church? The church of St. Anthony of Padua, the church of St. Francis of Assisi, or St. Dominic. Which church are you talking about? Which church? The church in God, church of Peter or church of Paul. Are we not talking about the church of Stephen? The matter. Which church are we talking about? 